what you're looking at is a Dell Inspiron 640M, and it has a similar situation to the Latitude D630 that you may or may not have seen yet. I will be installing one of these, a Pacer SSDs, and in the process, upgrading the operating system. Uh, there are upgrade paths for MX Linux to fully reinstall. Now, there's no data on this machine that I need to worry about, so I imagine that since it is a consumer-grade machine, it is different from the business D630, and I would be correct because there is no slide-out or anything like that. Uh, there are two screws here. Let's see, is this battery any good? Yeah, that battery actually is good. So that's neat. D630s should uh, work on that a little bit. Is this, I think this is about the same age. Okay. So if there's supposed to be a caddy, it does not have it. What hard drive is installed with this? Actually, it's a 60 gig. Okay. It is serial ATA, so we're good on that. I don't need to worry about that. I was actually kind of concerned about that for a second because this is an older system, so it could go either way. So we have our serial ATA flash drive. I'll go ahead and we'll install it. Hoping that this is going to be just extremely quick. But I say that every time and then I end up with like 15 minutes worth of video, or well, even longer worth of video, by the time the edited product comes around, it's about 15 minutes. USB storage device, MX. Unfortunately, the screen is fairly reflective. So, the keyboard should be fine. I don't think I need to adjust that. Auto install using the entire disk. Uh, it is definitely okay to format the entire disk. Install Grub. Yes. Next. And all should be good to go. And I'm going to put in the rest of these details off camera. Okay, so now we're just at the point where it needs to install. And this could take any amount of time. I really don't know. It is an SSD, so it shouldn't take too incredibly long. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, so I actually had to stop the camera because I actually was going to run out of tape time if I let it go through the whole thing. I have no idea why it decided it was going to take that long to do something simple, but whatever. So I want to reboot the machine once that closes. We'll see if it actually gets the hint and reboots. I don't have a lot of tape time, so I don't have a lot of time to be wasting on this. In fact, I'm going to just stop this until it uh, brings me to a desktop. Okay, so that actually wasn't too bad. And it looks like the Wi-Fi is actually going to work. I'm going to just go ahead and actually uncheck that. I don't need it. And I'm going to get the wireless set up. And then I'm going to run the updates. But I don't have a whole lot of tape space to do that, and it's not really worth seeing. The only other thing I'm going to point out is this doofy-looking clock up in the corner. I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but... It's there, I guess, if you really want to look at it. Video, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.